are not just growing your social media page, but you are also gaining dedicated fans. What's up guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel and I go by the name J to the K-A-R-D-I-J Cardi and I'm a music artist and in this video we're going to be talking about how to grow your social media as an upcoming artist. Let's go. I know it can be really frustrating as an upcoming artist trying to find the audience, trying to find the people to listen to you, to listen to your music, to watch your videos, to interact with your social media posts and every content that you put out there. I know it can really be frustrating when you post content and you come back only to get one or two likes, one or two views on your videos or probably you don't get no engagements at all and i know this is coming from the fact that you have little to no followers at all on your social media pages and that is the reason for this video first create entertaining content as an upcoming artist you want to create content that are entertaining you want to create content that pick the interest of your audience in order to do this you have to sit down and brainstorm and come up with very good concepts and content ideas that you can post out there that they really find entertaining you have to be able to sit down write and record good songs that resonate with the people with your audience your target audience you have to be able to sit down write record and put out songs that resonate with your listeners so that they can be able to engage with your songs they can listen buy download stream online and in other words become your followers i know this can be a bit tasking sitting down and coming up with content ideas that resonate with your listeners and your audience as well but it's something that you have to do you have to sit down Think of good content ideas, think of video ideas, think of concepts, think of ways that you can improve that song, think of ways that you can make that video more entertaining so that the people watching can engage with your content. Because some people will stumble on your content by mistake, the algorithm will push it out there for them to see, for them to listen, for them to watch your videos and if that is really interesting enough for them they will come back to your instagram page and the social media platform where you posted that content they will want to know a whole lot more about you and want to know a whole lot more about what you got going on your page and who you are what you do and that way if they find more interesting content on your page they are likely to like follow, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and that helps you grow your page, your social media. So in order to come up with very good ideas for content as an upcoming artist, I would suggest that you check out other pages, you check out other artists just like yourself. See what they are doing, check out the things that they are doing look at the content ideas that they have and the kind of videos they make and post on their pages and see how well these videos are doing how people are interacting with this video and you can copy one or two things from them you can learn one or two things from them you can draw one or two inspiration from these other artists out there both the artists that are already established and some other upcoming artists just like yourself and use that to your own advantage. Make content, create posts, pictures, videos, songs that you can also post on your own page. And that way you will find out that you are doing the things that are necessary for you to grow your audience on these platforms. I know somebody is going to be asking, well, 
I don't have any audience. I don't have the people that are going to be listening to these songs. I don't already have the people that are going to be watching my videos. And I don't have the people that are going to be liking and engaging and commenting with my posts. So why should I keep making content that nobody listens to? Yes, you should actually keep making content because that is your gateway that is your path to growing as an artist now you don't know the time the day the minute the second at which anybody i mean absolutely anybody can stumble upon your contents can stumble upon your page can come up to your instagram youtube facebook tiktok twitter page to see maybe by mistake omission or commission they are able to find you one way or the other when they come over to your page and they see that you don't have anything posted out there that does more harm than good to you because that way you're not able to retain this audience that you are looking for you are not able to retain these people that come over to your page because they have absolutely nothing to watch. They have absolutely nothing to see right there. I would like you to know that growing your Instagram, growing your social media pages as an upcoming artist needs time and patience it is a marathon and not a sprint it is something that you have to be intentional about it is something that you have to be patient with yourself and over time as you keep on being consistent you find that that you are growing and that takes me to tip number two that i'm going to be sharing with you be consistent whatsoever you're doing on social media consistency is key if you're releasing a song make sure you release your songs on a consistent basis if you're posting videos if you're posting instagram reels youtube shorts make sure you're consistent with whatsoever it is that you are doing because consistency is key when you're first starting out it can be hard getting that one two three likes four five comments on your pages i remember when i started it was hard for me uh sometimes i come i make my post i go and i come back and i'm only seeing one or two likes and those one or two likes could just be from my friends like maybe the one or two people that are close to me and they know that Jay does music and this is our own way of giving and showing our support to our dear friend and so they come they like my post just to encourage me without consistency you will never grow and without creating those contents and making those posts in the first place you will never start so you need to create those contents in order to start post them in order to start but then you need to be consistent in order to grow because when those interactions those comments those likes those uh, views start coming in on your page you see people will always come back once they like what you are doing some people will be moved to follow you to like to subscribe to your pages but once you stop being consistent and posting those content you start losing that audience yes you start losing that audience it can be difficult to start but then when you fail to be consistent you lose the people that you have already built you lose the momentum that you have already built over time and sometimes it can be harder to restart what you already have done before because initially you had the energy you had the zeal you had the motivation to start because you wanted to grow so badly but when you stop being consistent and you start losing those followers those likes those views those comments at some point you will not really have the energy you had at the beginning so it is advisable that you remain consistent as an upcoming artist in order to grow your social media pages consistency helps the algorithm to push your contents 
to more and more people who are likely to subscribe, to like, to follow you on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and every other social media platform that you are on. So please don't stop being consistent. Create that post and make sure you post it out there. Don't let fear stop you from making that post. I know you might be looking at it and you might be like, oh, this is not good enough. I can't post this out there. I feel like this picture is not well edited. I feel like this video is not good enough to be out there. I feel like this song is not good enough to be out there. Well, if there is anything that you can do at the moment and you are very sure that you can do better than what you already have on ground to improve that picture, make sure that song sounds better and make sure that video is well edited and more interesting and engaging then go ahead and do that and make that post. But when you think that you have made all necessary corrections and you have taken every step that you can take to improve your content, please go ahead and make that post. Don't let fear cripple your dreams. Go ahead, go make that post today yes you i'm talking to you right there you listening to me right now go make that post and get that off your drafts and that will lead me to the third tip that i'm going to be sharing with you today on how to grow your social media as an upcoming artist promoting your contents now if you have the money as an upcoming artist, this is pretty much straightforward. If you have the money, the funds to finance and to run uh, one or two social media uh, ads, sponsored posts, why not go ahead? That helps you reach out to a more wider audience that increases your impressions helps you to reach out to more people that are likely to see your post that are likely to engage with them and that are likely to come follow you on whatsoever platform that you redirect them to so if you're able to raise some money or you have some money in whatsoever way please go ahead make that post and run that sponsored ad on those contents so that you can be able to reach out and create more awareness about yourself, your brand, what you do, and be able to get the people that will interact, engage, and come follow you on whatsoever platform that you redirect them to with your sponsored post. And with that, we are going to be heading to the number four tip that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. This is one tip that I know that is really, really underused by a whole lot of upcoming artists and musicians. And this is one that really helped me grow. It got me a whole lot of followers. It got me a whole lot of likes on my post. It got me a whole lot of comments. It got me a whole lot of engagement and interactions. And I'm talking about interacting, following, connecting, and commenting on like-minded people such as yourself. As an upcoming artist, it's a wise move for you to connect and interact with like-minded artists like yourself on these social media platforms. You're starting from zero to just a few little followers on your social media pages and you want people to really see you. You really want to gain exposure and get your pages to get the awareness that you want it to get. Now, sometimes it is best that you take your business to their doorstep. And when I mean take your business to their doorstep, what am I talking about? Go over to the already established artists. They have a whole lot of followers on their Instagram, their Facebook, and every other social media platform they are on. You go to their comment sessions, you see a whole lot of comments, you see a whole lot of likes, you see engagement, views, and all of that. These are the people that you need. 
these are the people that you're looking for and the best way for you to get these people to notice you to come over to your page and to see the things that you are doing out there to see the music that you're posting the video that you're posting is to go interact with them head down to the comment sessions on your favorite artists look at the comments like a few of them comment reply to their comments interact with them be social open up go over to their private profiles like a few of their pictures comments and that way you are able to get them to notice you out of curiosity they are just going to be like who is this guy he liked my picture he liked them one two three four of my posts like i need to know what this person is up to and that way they head over to your own page and boom you've been able to successfully get them from where they were on that other page to your own page to see what you have to offer and trust me if they like what you have on your page if they like that song if they like that video they will like comment and possibly follow you and that increases your audience so go over to these pages interact like follow and it doesn't harm to probably send a dm once in a while like don't overdo it please don't go spamming people on their social media pages and posts be wise be discreet in your approach and how you go about getting these people to know about your business your songs your videos your ideas and every other thing that you have to share with them please don't overdo it liking just a few posts one two at worst three is enough commenting on one or two is good enough you know that way they get the notifications that oh you liked their post and out of curiosity they're gonna head over to your page to see the things that you have there so please post those videos drop those songs so that when you are able to get these people over to your page they have something that they are listening to they have something that they are watching which at the end of the day could possibly make them follow you to get more and more and more of your contents and what you have to offer that way you are not just growing your social media page but you are also gaining dedicated fans yes you're gaining dedicated fans people that will stick with you through time people that will be there with you through the ups and downs people that are going to be there with you through thick and thin you know that is the way you are able to get them and this idea i have just shared with you right now has proved to be super useful and helpful to me no i remember when i started i had to you know go over check out a whole lot of these people like-minded artists like myself connected interacted with them genuinely listened to their songs and gave my honest review about how i thought their songs were how good it was and that way i was able to connect with them on a different level not just having them as followers on my instagram page but then i was able to get them to be very good friends and we still maintain that relationship till today like i still maintain that very cordial relationship with a whole lot of my followers till date one more thing i failed to add is that when you're making your post please and please and please make use of hashtags make use of hashtags because they help your post gain visibility and they help your post to reach out to the people that are out there but when making use of hashtags please make sure you use the right hashtags don't just fill your posts your caption with a bunch of hashtags that are irrelevant to your posts they might probably be more harmful than you think so if your post is about a music don't go using a hashtag about a dog 
on your music post it's really not going to do you any good so please and please and please be super wise when making use of these tips and i believe that when you implement a few of these ideas i have just shared with you and you're patient with yourself over time you will be able to see that instagram page grow to what you want it to be you'll be able to see that facebook page have the number of likes that you want it to like that youtube channel growing daily in views and subscribers and that TikTok page having all the likes, the comments, the views, and the audience that you want it to gather. So be consistent, make that post, don't let fear cripple you, promote your songs, interact with like-minded people in the social media space, comment on their posts, like, comment, share when you can, on your story dm them and share a few links to some of your content that you have there and ask them for their honest review and if they are willing and open enough to oblige you and go listen to that then trust me you have been able to get one very good follower and one very good follower can get you another very good follower and get you another very good follower and that way you are growing and you're making progress as an upcoming artist so i wish you all the best in your journey as an upcoming artist and i hope that your social media grows your instagram page your facebook your twitter your tiktok your youtube channel grows and in no distant time you will be able to enjoy the benefits of the hard work and patience that you put into your craft. So see you at the next video. I remain J to the K-A-R-D-I-J Cardi. And if this video has been really helpful to you, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and ideas on how to grow as an upcoming artist.